Hey guys, New Motion here, and I'm back with another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own 16x16 16 16 texture pack. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do is right click on anywhere you're going to make your texture pack. For me, I'm going to make it on the desktop because it's way easier. And click on folder and just naming it anything you want. I'll name this texture pack. Now, after this, go click on the start button, and in the search bar, type percent app data percent. Then after that, you will want to locate your .minecraft folder, bin, then your minecraft.jar. You will need to open this with an archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip. I have a video on how to install WinRAR, and I'll link you to that in the description below. So after you're gonna, after you hit install that, just open it up and you will see all of these files okay now you can just close this you don't need it anymore and then what you're gonna want to look for are the oh yeah first open up your texture pack folder and then go back to the dot, dot jar and what you're gonna want to click for is the art folder the armor folder environment folder GUI, item, misc, mob, and drag all those over there. And now you just want to get a little bit, there's a little bit more of files to get. You want to get the, the pack, the pack.txt, the font.txt, terrain.png, particles png and pack png and just drag it back now this is all the things that you essentially need for your text pack but if you just want to edit one thing you can just grab that one folder and anything that you didn't edit will just go back to the default minecraft so say if i just wanted to edit the armor i'll just drag the armor in my texture pack and i'll just leave everything else alone and it will just grab all of those things i didn't edit so now you can just close this minecraft.jar and what you're going to want to do is look for your terrain.png image and right click on it and open it with a program that has transparency such as GIMP, Photoshop, and Paint.net. Paint.net and GIMP are really good alternatives for Photoshop because it's free and you can't use Microsoft Paint because that doesn't have transparency and it will give you all these weird things in your texture pack. So after that, you're going to want to right click and open it with open it with your program. I'm going to open up with GIMP. Now that you've opened up your terrain PNG with your program, you just want to go find the block that you want to edit and I'm going to edit the glass block. And if you notice each block is 16 by 16 which is why it's a 16 by 16 texture pack if you want to work with more space you would just want to make 32 by 32 texture packs or higher and it would just make you enable you to make more detailed blocks but I'm gonna stay with a 16 by 16 texture pack and I'm just gonna edit this block this glass block because this these things always bothered me okay so just edit any block that you want and it's gonna just look like that in your texture pack you can also edit all these things I'm just gonna go crazy on these other blocks and draw and they will be edited so now just just save it but I'm not gonna save it and now all that's left are these other things the font and the pack now this thing is the picture that people will see when they use your texture pack if you haven't really done anything to the minecraft texture pack i suggest you just keep this default but if you changed a lot i suggest you should take a snapshot of of your texture pack that really shows it and how it looks like and just paste that into here but if you haven't just leave it like this 
And also the thing that you want to edit is the packed text document. And this is just the, dis the description of your texture pack. So I'm just going to name this my first texture pack. And just save it with Control S or File, then Save. Then you can close it. Then after you're done editing all of the files, you're going to want to press Control A or hover all of this, then right click, send to, then click compress zip folder. Then name name it what whatever you want people to see when they download it or what you want to see. And I'm gonna name this new motion one two eight texture. And then just press enter and you'll have it there. So now just drag this dot zip into your folder I mean your desktop and click on the start button again and type percent app data percent click on minecraft wow I don't have the texture facts folder <laughs> Then after that, click on the texture packs. Then now just drag this .zip file into the texture packs, and you'll have it there. And make sure it's a .zip, or else it won't work. And you just made yourself a texture pack. Okay, if you wanted to know how to make a HD texture pack with GIMP, just go to your terrain.png right click on it click image then click scale image then now you'll see here in the width and height it's 256 and just multiply that number by the height that you want to be like there's there's many heights there's 16 by 16 32 by 32 64 by 64 128 by 128 and 254 by 254 if you want to get those, you have to multiply this number by however much you want it. And I'll have those in the description for to save you hassle. And if I want to make this 32 by 32, I'm just going to multiply this, this number by 2, which will be 512 by 512. And then the quality, make sure it says none or else it will be really blurry and really hard to edit. Then after that, just click scale. Then if you check here the blocks are going to be bigger and before if you check before these blocks would be one pixel now the two by two and now you have much more space to work with and give yourself more detailed blocks there might be a problem that you might experience it's when you're ex editing your particles and you'll notice that if you check the size of the image it is 128 by 128 and wanna make this another size let's say we're gonna make this a 32 by 32 texture pack you're gonna want to go to your calculator or just do this math in your head and type 128 times 2 since this is a 32 by 32 texture pack and it'll give us this number so what we have to do now to make it 32 by 32 is go back right click image scale image and change it to 256 and also remember to change this interpolation to none and if you scale we have a much bigger image and we have much more space to work with and this works for all sizes just remember to check the multiplies in the description below and after you're done you can just close that and if you want it's the same thing as making the 16 by 16 after you're done control a hi or highlight everything right click send to compress zip folder and then just name it I'm gonna name it HD and just put it into that texture pack folder like we did in a few minutes ago in the video also, there's one thing that to point out is that since you made an HD texture pack, you're gonna need MC Patcher or Optifine. 
and if you don't use that and you're using an HD texture pack you're gonna see some really weird and distorted blocks and it won't be that fun playing Minecraft especially when the, when you're in the nether cuz if you don't patch it everything's gonna look like water so yeah after you've done all of that you just made yourself an HD or 16 by 16 texture pack or any other size and be sure to thumbs up favorite like and comment even though that's the same thing and be sure to subscribe and I'm sure you won't regret it cause this helps me out a lot and I'm New Motion and have a nice day bye